Hi, everyone. The purpose of this demonstration is to showcase a Bitmoji classroom that I have created in efforts to improve student engagement in their learning. One way to connect with students is to make learning relevant to the course objectives, but also delivering information in a way that is relevant to them. In this day and age, that can be accomplished through the use of technology. So what is the Bitmoji craze. Bitmoji is an accessory app for social media platforms that people use to create little cartoon versions of themselves, which then they use on various social media accounts. It's a very simple service. You can create an avatar of yourself and create various comics, GIFs, expressions and reactions that use this avatar. Bitmoji Classroom allows students to interact with the room and see a little bit of your personality. Students can work ahead, review content as needed. Additional class resources can be added to the virtual space as well and are readily accessible to the students. Here are some examples of a finished prod product. Let me share my screen with you. I use the Bitmoji Classroom as a weekly announcement that is integrated into the Canvas LMS system that we use. My weekly announcements include what the student should expect for the upcoming week, so they are able to prepare. My Bitmoji announcements are always interactive, meaning the student can click on specific objects and get linked directly to their assignments, readings, resources, and lectures. So for example, this announcement says read chapter five before coming to class. If the student clicks on their pharmacology book that we use in class, it will directly link them to their ebook so that they can complete their chapter five reading. Also in class, they are doing an exam to review. I typically use Cahoots as a review game for my students. So you will see the Kahoot logo right here. If they click on that, it will directly link them to their review. Also, we're going to be going over drug cards, the LABA drug category. With that, if they click on the inhaler, it will directly link them to the voice over PowerPoint that I have available for the drug card category LABAs. My students know also if they have any homework assignments, if they click on these folders, it will directly link them to their homework assignment. Chapter five lecture, voice over PowerPoint can always be found when they click on the headphones and it will directly link them to their lecture, which I found as a really useful tool because if a student is absent, then they have the next best thing which is a full lecture that is voice over PowerPoint. Here is another example of a Bitmoji classroom that I have created. So for this week, we were going to go over non-invasive ventilation. We had a non-invasive ventilation mask fitting in a lab. So I have included a picture of my students actually in lab trying on non-invasive ventilation masks. So I did that to further personalize my space. I even put a BiPAP mask on my face as well as the non-invasive ventilator, the V60. I included that into the space as well. Again, you can personalize these as much as you want to. I even included our Laurel logo and again, this is all interactive. So they can click on the book and get linked to their reading. They click on the headphones, they get linked to the voiceover PowerPoint lecture. And if they click on the backpack, it will link them to their homework for the week. 
Um, this classroom really creates a welcoming space for your students, for you to connect with them and for them to connect with each other. Not only does it create this engaging space for students, but it also provides a way for teachers to express themselves creatively. I've even gotten my students involved in creating their own virtual locker as an assignment. So I create a discussion post. In that discussion post, I have a video showing them how to do this themselves. I provide them with a virtual locker template. And really the assignment is geared towards just allowing the students to get to know each other better and for me to get my, to know my students better. So I'm gonna show you an example of that. I have permission from the students to share this particular virtual locker that one of my students created. So she says, in my locker, I included a variety of things. She has her dog at the top of the locker. Um, she put in everything bagels because that's her favorite food. She included her favorite TV shows, um, some sports that she enjoys playing like football and soccer. She also is an artist herself. So she actually included some of her artwork into her locker. So here are my references that I have used in creating this virtual Bitmoji classroom tour for you. Um, really and truly, I learned how to do this Bitmoji classroom by trial and error. And with myself just being a creative soul, I honestly have fun with this. And it's something that I look forward to doing in preparing for my classes each week. I have gotten feedback from my students that they not only get a kick out of it, but it also is very useful to find anything that they need for the week all in one space. So that is all that I have for you. If anybody has any questions, feel free to reach out. If you'd like to try this um, in your classroom or in any way, shape or form, Again, please reach out. I am always here to help. Thank you.